Alright, um, now I'm playing Doorways. Oh, Jesus, that was spooky. Now, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I have higher hopes for this game than I did for Coma Mortuary. And if you need to know, I pressed yes. We have been assigned some cases. These psychopaths must be found. The other agents couldn't get them. But I can do it. <laughs> Coma was not a quadruple A. Oh wow, that look. It like, it looks away and then it slowly catches up. I don't know how I feel about that. Sensitivity's a little low. Oh, that's a cool little option screen. Uh, controls. Was there... Oh right, vision speed. Let's turn up to 7. And this is better. Oh wow, they just put the credits right there. Oh, and the controls are right here too. That's uh, an interesting way to do it. Okay, just crouch. Oh, pretty decent speed. Okay, already the fire lighting as I approach it, that's already a better effect than what could have been expected in Coma Mortuary. This game is already better, and I've literally done nothing. I'm just gonna check these doors. No, should have known. What is this telling me? The journey will not begin until you are ready. What do you need? A box to keep valuable objects? A place to locate notes, letters, and other papers. A bag to put tools to use when necessary. Okay. Do I have those things? Oh, I see. These doors are open now. Just this one. Oh wow, it severely brought down my looking. Alright, let's go this way then. Let's make a left. Crouch to go through narrow paths. Alright. I kinda I, I knew I was gonna do that as I approached it, but <clears throat> this what is it what is this gonna tell me? I think it's cool that it slowly fades in. Old mouse over objects to push them and hold most two to attract them. You found an item, focus on it, press mouse one to pick it up. Alright. So I got push and pull. Yeah, there's definitely a there's a, a noise filter over it too. I think that was also an option. Was well, that it for me in here? Just learn how to crouch? See if the other doors are open. Nope. There is more to be done. I must not have looked. You know what? I bet there was something in this room that I had to do with. Because uh, that would be how one does a tutorial correctly. Yep. There it is. Left to push. Oh, did I find the, the first one right away? Oh, yeah. Oh, 
All right, I just guessed. It was a good guess. Box relics. R or the Y button. What am I looking at? Okay. I'm, I'm, I look at that. That's what R does. It shows me a naked man statue. Now it must be time to go. That one closed. Now this one's open? Okay. I don't have an F for flashlight. Move forward and jump at the same time using space. Well. Well, alright. That went great. Was I expected to fall right in there and die? Well, I didn't. Great, now I need to get out of this fucking water. Alright, let's try that again. With more oomph this time. Yeah. Notes. My N button. N key. Makes sense, N for notes. Can't forget that. I don't know what I'm doing in this place. Is it a dream? It feels too real for that. I don't know, is this Ponty? Now that door closes behind me and this one opens. I'm making good time here. There's something over there. I should probably examine what this this light is. Oh, is it just a uh, dead end for fun? Oh, there's a thing. The walls in this cave seem to be closing in on me. But something about this place seems familiar. I feel calm for some reason. My belongings, or what I think are my belongings, are here. Why wasn't that last note narrated? You made me read it. <clears throat> Whatever. Make your own way to get to the top. You tell me you need to move shit around. Is this acting like a step? Wait, can I reach this without that step? Nope. I need to get on this rock. Oh yeah, puzzling. Puzzle platforming at its best. Items with I. Do I have items? Oh, I just brought this up. Okay. Now I have all the things that it told me I needed. So I can leave this place and go through the big door to begin my journey. Oh, it says something new. You have found all you need. Check your inventory to find a way to pass through the door. Open your inventory pressing tab. Then isn't I inventory? Is tab also inventory? Oh, tab is all of these things. Okay. Okay, so I got my shortcuts and then I got these. This thing. I want to use this thing. I'm gonna use it here. 
Oh yeah. See, these, these animations are way better than Coma Mortuary. I'm, I don't want to say I'm impressed, but in comparison, I'm impressed. There are things which are burned into my memory. My name is Thomas Foster, and my duty is to bring these four psychopaths to justice. I just hope to resist their sadistic influences. Their corrupted minds could overpower my own. I will find them. I must. Fascinating. Well, not giving me a lot of choices here. Oh, I got an achievement. I just realized Coma Mortuary didn't have achievements. Probably didn't have cards either. Didn't really have much of anything. Chapter 1. The Forest of Steaks. So everyone in chat, tell me how you like your steak. Rare? Medium rare? Driven through the heart of a vampire? You name it. Bloody and full of knives? Burnt? <laughs> Just like your woman. I can't see shit, Captain. I think I'm going back the way I came now. But for real, medium rare. Alright. I think maybe I was following the lights incorrectly here. Oh, there's a note. Duh. Jake Gibbs, London, England, 1962. Professor of History. Suspected for the kidnapping of 17 people, disappeared in the adjoining areas of a cabin owned by his family. The missing persons have in common certain indirect factors, religions or pagan practices, foreign nationality, that are not reason enough for the local police to start an investigation. Doorways link the profiles of the victims to the topics in which Professor Gibbs specializes. Oh, is Doorways the name of uh, this organization? I'm gonna have to go with medium rare as well, that sounds fine. Oh boy. Spooky. This looks painful. <laughs> I should jump over that. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, fade to black, then fade right back. Oh, there's a note here. Better read this note. Or have it read to me, actually. I'd arrived at the crossroads. I knew I had to keep going and follow his steps if I wanted to find the professor. But I found something about the place absolutely terrifying. I felt trapped, oppressed by those dark veils, and I knew that I wouldn't be able to stand a single minute lost in the darkness. I need to find a light source as soon as possible. Yeah, we're on the same page and let's get a fucking flashlight. A torch, as my European friends might call it. Crouchy crouch. Ah, yes. Should probably hit up that inventory. Yeah. Is there anything else there? No, okay. Give me a light. Oh, yeah, that did the trick. Oh, I guess stepping over these doesn't hurt. Oh, it went out? Sure as hell didn't last long. Okay, give me another light. Alright, oh, I was at a crossroads. Okay, you know what? Freshen up. Freshen up my light so I can head on back. I guess that was just a dead end. Or was it? Ugh. 
Oof. Ah, a new note. What's up? At that moment, I felt I was retracing the steps of many others like me. How did they overcome the mortal chill that lurks in the darkness? Their souls went astray and got lost forever in the shadows. Because there was another horror that scared them even more, that made them flee into the dark woods. They fled the place I'm entering. Oh. Hey, bring my thing back out. What's down and over here? Nothing is down over here. Oh yeah, this guy definitely sounds remotely interested. Unlike the guy from Coma that just sounded bored. Whoa! That was pretty horrible. But I'm not scared. I don't feel scared yet. Not gonna lie, I felt more scared playing uh, Spooky's House of Jump Scares with Grim. Is it gonna make me keep re-equipping this? Can I get a jump? No, alright, get up on this rock. No, I can't I can't light my torch there. Can you give me a light here? No. Maybe it maybe the game put it away for me because there was no way to get another light. Ah, here it is. Guess I'm gonna go here first. No rhyme or reason. <gasps> oh, oh, okay, wait. Careful now. Nope, can't grab a light from that. Hi. Should I just approach her? Oh god. I got to find another way. Um yeah, like fucking this way. Maybe I should check my inventory. This is all I have. That actually was a little terrifying, I won't lie. Relics? No, I'm clicking on it. It can't do anything. No, no, stop doing that. Stop it. Stop it. I want to exit. Well, yeah, I'm just going to leave. Is this super dark for you guys? Because it. I should probably turn the brightening up a little bit. It, it, I think it might actually be too dark. That did very little. 
I can't at all tell. Like, I'm not sure if my other monitor, because, like, I have uh, OBS on the other monitor, and it, it's, like, almost invisible. Could just be the way I'm looking at it, though. Could just be that monitor. Maybe I have to come back to this place with something. I did kind of just veer this way without thinking much of it. Long though. Alright. Let's bring my torch back out. Okay. Let's let's find things. It seems like I can go back this way, but I don't think the game's allowing it. Maybe? Is that the only way to go? Yeah, I think that was the only way to go. Maybe there's like a branching path of some sort in this area. Be nice if I could get some fucking fire. Oh well. Nope, that's not a thing. Alright, so now I'm back here with her. Uh, okay. I guess that was the trick of it. I mean, I considered that quietly in my head, but I was like, nah. That's a little dumb. But, uh, that, no, that was it. Oh, goodness. Did the fadey trick again. <sighs> I'm not gonna touch her butt. You saw that face she made when I just tried to approach her? Imagine what she'll do if I touch that booty. <gasps> oh, okay, I wasn't too confident. Oh, it's rickety. I gotta move. Oh, I didn't get to see it fall. I wonder if there was even an animation for it. Oh! Hello again. I'll just go this way. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll go the other way. <laughs> just touch the button, she'll make a different face. You know what? I'll I'll approach her from behind. Let's let's just see what happens. Ah! Okay. She just she just turns around and does it. I don't know. That actually startled me. Like I knew it was coming. But it's fucking it's spooky looking. No, but touch face isn't pleasing at all, Grim. I don't I don't know what kind of face the girls where you live make, but it's probably better than that. It's 
quite a bit of a fall there. Almost seemed like I didn't make it. Okay. Give me some comforting flames. Jeez, there we are. Oh, the comforting flame is gone. I can kind of still see the way I have to go, though. Let's give me some more fire. More fire for the fire god, please. This one's lower. This must be the right one. Oh! I guess I don't really need a torch if there's this many. Game put it away for me too, so I'm just assuming I don't need it for now. <sighs> oh, I'm moving a lot quicker now. Am I fleeing from something? Maybe it was just being generous. Alright. Oh, I see this. There's a door moving this way. I should probably get my torch back out. Oh! The name of this game, Grim, is Doorways. And this one is absolutely episodic. I think all three of them are actually out already, though. Alright, I'm waiting for those to pop up again so I can run after they pop. Should I just go for it? No, I died. Okay. So just simply don't go that way then. Fine. But the door closed behind me. All right, let's uh, let's figure out the trick of it. Underworld? No, I think Underworld is the third one. I'm playing Doorways, episode one and two. Hmm. Is one of these not like the others? interact with I can pull or push here. Hmm. No, I don't think they'd put something I have to push or pull this far back. Maybe one of the spikes didn't pop in that brief little scene it showed me. I don't remember. Oh, right, I can jump. Duh. They're not going back down. I forgot I could jump because I'm, I'm stupid. Oh! Ah, oh, the thing on the ceiling fell on me, didn't it? I should have been paying attention to that thing. The first one didn't fall on me. Yeah, that, it totally fell on me. Oh no, there's spikes right here! That's what did it. I was looking up at the ceiling like a dummy. I knew there was spike traps. I just passed one. And here I am looking at the ceiling. I 
I did it. Alright, jumping puzzles. Easy stuff. Oh, Christ! Yeah, that, that wasn't a pretty smooth way to trick the player. Put things on the ceiling to gawk at. So you walk right into the traps. It worked on me. It worked damn well on me. 